Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today I'm doing a mini tutorial on an anti-fatigue makeup look. I don't know about you guys, but being in my 40s, I'm just not sleeping as well as I used to, and I'm finding that there's just certain days where I wake up looking really tired, especially around my eyes, my skin looks a bit lackluster. So today I'm going to focus on a very quick, easy, no more than I think seven pieces I used today to create this look, which is all about making bright, wide awake eyes, a nice luminous collection, and giving my makeup look some vibrancy today. I'm basically faking it till I make it. <laughs> so that is what this look is today. I call it the anti-fatigue look. Let's get started. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, you guys know what to do. Just reach down below. And if you want to support Shri Voyage, don't forget to use the affiliate links and subscribe. All right, everyone, let's get started. So here we have the Chanel LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops with the Capture Total Dior Serum. I'm going to take first the LeBlanc Rose Drops by Chanel. And then I'm going to add the Capture Total Dior Serum Foundation. And I'm going to mix them together. This will create a nice brightening effect on the skin while still giving me the coverage I like. Taking my beauty blender, I'm going to pat that underneath the eye area, onto the cheek, the nose, and the chin. Next, we have the Lancome Tontadol Ultra Wear Concealer, adding a couple drops to underneath my eye area, the outer corners, and around the mouth area. These are all places that help brighten and lift the skin. I'm moving outward with my sponge on all areas of the face to do lifting using my ring finger and tapping that on the inner corner of my eye. Going in now with the Blanc Rosy Light Drops and the Tonto Doll Concealer and I will mix these together once again to create a nice brightening effect on my eyelids. This is a great way to brighten your lids, also prime them. Using my MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to blend those two together. This is one of my favorite makeup tips for creating a nice natural brightening effect around the eye area. Nice and bright. And this side, not so much. <laughs> Next, we have the NARS Extreme Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras for long, voluminous lashes. I have very small lashes, so I love this mascara for giving me a nice, clean length. Next is the Kaja Wise Cream Blush in the color Happy. I love this color to brighten the cheek area. It's a creamy texture, nice and pigmented. I add a couple drops to the cheeks and use my Beauty Blender. And just go ahead and put that on the cheek area, lifting up all the way to the temples. This will brighten the skin, and because of the cream, it gives a nice luminosity. Here's the Victoria Beckham Bronzer. And I'm going to add the NARS Bronzer a brush to apply. Grabbing the warmer side, I'm going to sculpt underneath that blush, and then I'm going to work upward to do some lifting, go around the C-shape of the ear, and go under the chin. Grabbing the lighter side now, I go down the center of the face, the nose, the chin, and a little up on the sides of the temple. Further step would be putting the bronzer all over the face to create a nice even glow. Next we have the Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. I'm grabbing again the bronzer in the warmer side and this is an amazing technique to brighten, lift, and sculpt the lid in a very natural way. This creates harmony because we already have it on the cheek. Grabbing the lighter color, I'm putting that on the side of the nose and bringing it all the way down. Going from the brow ridge down the side of the nose creates a nice uniform color harmony and shape. Now adding a little under the lip to make my lips look fuller. Now we have the Chantakai powder. I'm just working that up the cheek, underneath the eyes softly, and using circular motions to create a nice even look. Complexion done. Next I have the NARS Lip Liner in a Long Bay. I love this lip liner because it's in a soft, neutral pink tone. I use it to give my lips some fullness while adding some shape to the corners as well as the top ridge of the lip. <laughs> Next, we have the Chantecaille Lip Chic in the Butterfly Collection. One of the most beautiful formulations. Creamy, hydrating, and leaves a beautiful glossy sheen to the lips. 
next to the Shantikai rose water. This has a beautiful mist to it and it really does a gorgeous job of hydrating and setting the makeup. And here we have our anti-fatigue makeup. This look is all about subtle light on the skin, some soft dimension, and a rosy glow. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to support Sheer Voyage, all you need to do is use the affiliate links below, subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment. I'll see you all in my next video. As always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.